What's up guys, Hong Ming in here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about pulling guard and uh, my opinion on it. Before I dive in, uh, take a moment to subscribe to the channel, to like the video, of course, and click on the notification bell to be notified when, uh, when I post videos. Here, we're all about a smarter and more sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts for older dudes. Somebody asked me in the community, what do I think of pulling guard and if I can make a video on it, so that's what I'm doing here. Pulling guard, guys, I think it's a great idea. Now, wait a second, it depends on what context. In the context of sports BJJ, guys, it's a very good strategy. The reason for that is because of the rules of competition. I kind of forgot, but I think it's about five minute round and it doesn't finish. Unlike in judo, when you throw a guy and he lands on both shoulders, right? It's over, you won the match. It's not over in jiu-jitsu. That's just the beginning. Yes, you, you start standing up. Even if you get thrown, then of course the person, your opponent scores two points on you. So you have to catch up those two points. And on top of that, you have to catch up on points and you gotta fight to get into a better position. For the most part, BJJ clubs, like it depends on the clubs, they train a lot more on the ground because that's where it's going on. It's five minutes and the way you win in a match is either by submission or by points. You don't want to give that advantage right off the bat. If you if you suck at takedown, then you get taken down. In judo, okay, like we're, since nobody stays on the ground, like if you get thrown, well, it's over, you get back up. And that's how it usually goes down in judo practice because it's very uh, throw heavy. A BJJ is mostly focused on the ground for the competition, right? And in judo, it's standing up. Yes, we have neiwaza, but I mean, neiwaza, which is ground game. But, you know, I mean, it has to be done very quickly or else the ref just stands you up. So anyways, what, I, what I'm trying to get to, if it makes any sense. By the way, I have, this is the new editor. I think he's, he's, he's amazing. He's great. Okay, so competition pulling guard is a very effective strategy. It's still a martial art after all. Even though you train, let's say you train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and you compete, so it's you know obviously for sport, it won't be a complete martial art if you don't know how to take people down. So for example, if you're in competition and you know the guy in front of you sucks at takedowns, you know, and you know that you feel 100% confident that you're gonna take this guy down. So why would you pull guard? In that case, you would stay standing up as much as possible, try to get your grips or whatever, but you have to have that skill because it's a martial art after all. And the thing is, if you ever end up in a self-defense scenario on the street where you need to take the guy down before you could actually use your jujitsu, but you don't have takedown because you've been only been, you know, like starting all your matches on the ground or your, your takedowns are really not where they should be, you know, then how's that gonna work? If you can't take the guy down, you can't use your jujitsu. That's the problem there. I believe you still have to have a strong enough takedown where you're confident that you can use it if you need to in competition. And of course, that's gonna translate, obviously, if ever you get into an altercation in the streets where you have to take somebody down. If you're on the streets, you're not gonna be pulling guard. For obvious reasons, the pavement, right? It's hard and you don't wanna get kicked in the face. There might be multiple attackers. You wanna stay uh, standing up, or at least if you're gonna take the guy down, you wanna be on top, on top, top game. Uh, do what you have to do, maybe throw a punch, you know, submit him quick, quick, and then just go, right? Bounce. Okay, so what else do I have to say in regards to this? Pulling guard, it's definitely a good idea in sports jiu-jitsu. Still have to learn how to do takedowns, of course, right? Because it's just part of it, in my opinion. And other than that, um, yeah, guys, that, that's pretty much it, man. So listen, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, all, all my information and links are in the bio. If you guys need coaching or anything like that, I do online coaching also. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.